today we're gonna finish up the car first. We gotta do a little mowing, y'all. Gotta do some yard work, mow, weeding, clean up around here a little bit. Let me show you what we gotta mow. Alright, mow that side. I gotta I gotta clean that bank up a little bit. Can't really get on it with a mower, but I gotta push mower for it or a weed eater. Mow a couple lines there. Gotta mow all that build, front yard, backyard, weed eat around. That's the archway we were using for the wedding that we're getting married in a uh, few weeks here. We're gonna get married out here, so anyway, let's get the mowing, y'all. Alright, y'all, so we got it mowed. We gotta come back up here. I'm gonna boys weeds up. I might get the tractor and clean that up. We got it mowed. We need to do stuff like that. Alright, well, we made it to the garage finally. Um, I know y'all don't know because it's still daylight and of course YouTube. So anyway, it's uh, boom, probably about 7.30 in the evening, something like that. But we're going to try to get this thing finished up. We got to pull that. It's got a banjo bolt uh, holding on that piece. So we got to pull it out, plug that hole. It's in the oil pan for the, it was the feed line for, or I'm sorry, not the feed line. It was a return line out of the factory oil cooler. So we're going to, Get that out, plug that hole. We're going to, we got one more bolt on the factory oil cooler we gotta pull out, pull all them lines off, and start this thing up. So hopefully we can get this thing started up today, but uh, yeah, see. All right, y'all, it's back together. You gotta take the grinder off there. Look at this factory intercooler, y'all. It's like, yeah lines metal lines those hoses were seeping so i mean it's factory from 89 so i think a little bit of an upgrade there i think we're good to go got our lines bigger lines that cooler different pump like i said i'm gonna shorten these lines and run the way i want but let's get this thing uh get the wheels on and get it down all right y'all she's down on the ground look at here oh all right, so let's go get the computer, hook it up so I can keep track of everything because I don't have an uh, air fuel gauge ratio thing in my car other than a computer. So let's go get it, hook everything up, and uh, fire this thing up, see what happens. Okay, y'all. So if somebody that's working on a car decides to uh, sit down in a minute, what's it mean? Yep. So, of course, the oil leak that it does have is in the worst possible place for this whole kit. Let's show you. So for some reason, that sandwich plate back there is leaking. I don't know if the oil seal didn't get on it good or, or what. So I gotta take all this back off. I'm hoping I don't have to take the manifold back off, but I'm probably gonna have to. I gotta take all this back off to get down there to it to see uh, See what's making a leak but it was a pretty bad leak so i don't know if the seal got off or what happened but i just thought i'd sit down for a minute but anyway uh we're gonna get back out of here um i got it all the bolts started getting loose it's just really hot so it's taking a minute so we'll get here get this turbo off get this manifold off pull it all back out and uh see if we can get this whole leak fixed tonight so stay with me all right y'all a little quick update I took this off, I took these fittings out, I put tef even though it's got a rubber seal on them, I put Teflon on them, run back in, tighten the piss out of them. Tighten that pretty tight, and I tighten these real tight. I think this line, uh, I think this line here was leaking, but it is what it is. We got it, uh, got it back together. I'm gonna spray all this off, clean it up a little bit, put it all back together, see what happens. All right, y'all. this one so 
turn this off. All right, so just to recap, we got in here, finished taking the uh, oil cooler off of the uh, the car, the stock oil cooler. Got everything off of it, got that hose clamp shut, sealed off, put it back on. It's a metal hose, y'all. I clamped it, sealed it. It's good to go, it ain't leaking. Then as you see in the video, the uh, I don't know if what was leaking. That thing, I should've took a video when I had it apart. But it, it goes onto the box, got an O-ring on it, and an inner O-ring, but I didn't think the inner O-ring was big enough to catch, so I left it out. I went ahead, re-looked at it, and it does actually hit, so I went ahead and put both O-rings back in it. And then, um, I know I ain't looking at the camera, I'm looking here, I'll look at this way, I'm looking at the car. Because I think better when I'm looking at the car. So anyway, I put that back on. I also, uh, put a uh, kind of like Teflon tape on the on the threads of the pieces that go into that that the AM fittings go on and I tighten them really good I had o-ring seals so I didn't figure I need to tighten them spot super tight but I went ahead and done it this time because I think that might have been where it was leaking at and then I tighten the AM fittings up put everything back together and as you seen you know just shortly earlier shortly earlier just a little earlier in this video it is running, it's running great. Sounds better, it, it's got more of a, a, I think it's got more of a deeper tone, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. It did have a lot of exhaust leaks, so. I don't know, it sounds good. Uh, the air fuel, you know, with all the exhaust, exhaust leaks, of course the air fuel wasn't reading right. Um, so I got it adjusted on idle and it's idling really well. Um, of course it's got a little, little jump in it, but not a whole lot, but. Uh, it's idling very well. It's not going super lean, super rich, super lean. It's not doing anything crazy like that. Everything looks good. So I can't drive it tonight. I don't have any headlights. If I had headlights, I would definitely go drive it around the block. But I don't. So unfortunately, I can't do that. I do know that it seems last time whenever we drove it, it didn't start spooling. Like it didn't even hit one or two pound of boost till it was up higher in RPMs just sitting here just barely hitting the rev uh it'll actually make right around <laughs> it starts to make boost right around 1800 just sitting here just free revving so and when i say free revving only going to like you know just barely bumping the throttle get it to free rev a little bit and right around i have to pull it back up right around 1700 is already starting to make one pound of boost so Maybe this turbo will do good. I don't know. I did have a lot of exhaust leaks, so maybe we'll get this thing out and drive it tomorrow. I know I was really wanting to get the video up today of me getting to drive it, but we had a lot of other things going on. We mowed, we had to go to Lowe's, get some wood, get some concrete, do some things. Long day had, uh, as I told y'all earlier, we're getting married soon. So the, uh, the person that's marrying us actually come over to the house to uh, talk to us about some things today. So we talked to her for a while. I'm just friend. I'm just I'm just chatting y'all. So anyway, that's the updates on on the car. Hopefully we can get this thing out of the garage tomorrow, drive it, see how it does, go from there. But yeah, I'm I'm pretty happy with it. I'm pretty stoked. Uh, everything's looking real good as far as as far as the fuel and everything. So uh, yeah, let's get this thing out tomorrow maybe. See what happens. We got a little run around to do in the morning, and uh, we'll come back and I actually might. If I can get it out, I might take it over to my, uh, my buddy's house and put the cage in it for me. The guy that welded the cage in for me. I might drive it over there and see him for a little bit tomorrow. But I did see uh, he's going to be busy in his garage all night tonight. So I don't even know if he'll really be up for company tomorrow. But who knows? Maybe we'll drive it over there and see him. Anyway, appreciate y'all watching. See y'all next time.